Now, Gardner is a former aide to former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation. Now, good to have you here today. Um, interesting, you, you know, you. these little subtle moves that are made, right? The, the dropping, the lowering of Harry and Meghan on the website where it sort of introduces everybody in order of importance. And now you see more focus, it seems, on Prince Edward and his wife, Sophie. Uh, what do you what do you take away from that? Well, I think uh, without a doubt, I mean, the, the royal family are growing increasingly fed up with the behavior of Meghan and Harry. Uh, and also British public opinion is turning firmly against Meghan and Harry as well. And so you're seeing the royal family really closing ranks here. Uh, mm -hmm. And without a doubt, I think that uh, Meghan Markle and, and Prince Harry have behaved in a, a less than exemplary fashion in recent months, launching a series of direct attacks against the monarchy. And of course, the Queen is the head of the monarchy. Uh, and so I think there is a feeling within the royal family that the, the behavior of, uh, of Meghan and, and Harry certainly uh, leaves much to be desired. Uh, and you're seeing uh, certainly, I think, the, the royal family uh, coming together, distancing the royal family from, uh, from Harry and Meghan. You know, this question of the name of their daughter, it's interesting. They talk about, Harry talked about the genetic pain that was imposed on him, you know, and the generations of bad parenting, essentially, uh, was the suggestion that was made that was inflicted on him and, and his father by suggestion. And then they named their daughter Lilibet, which is this very private nickname that was given to the queen by her father. There's all these rumors about whether or not they consulted her on that or not? Well, the, the BBC certainly uh, reported that uh, the Queen had not been consulted beforehand, uh, and the, uh, the Royal Palace has not actually uh, denied that story. Mm. And it very much looks as though uh, the Meghan and Harry uh, camp uh, have been uh, spreading a story that is without uh, substantiation. And and I think that, you know, this is a demonstration of the, the tremendous tension that, that exists now within the, uh, the royal family. There's a lot of unhappiness with the spin uh, that the, uh, the Meghan and Harry team are putting out right mm. now. Yeah. Well, they wanted a quiet life, but they don't seem to be um, pursuing it quite that way. Uh, Niles, thank you very much. Niles Gardner in London. My, my pleasure. Thank you.